Hey everybody, this is your Digital Super Saiyan 3 here, back with another video. Today, I'm going to take a look back to 2004's The Incredibles. Why? Well, The Incredibles 2 is out in theaters. So, in honor of The Incredibles 2, I am going to be doing a review of the original Incredibles movie. Well, it goes a little something like this. In the age of super... In the golden era of supers, supers were loved by the public, and among them was Mr. Incredible. A superhero, played by Craig T. Nelson, with the power of super strength. Mr. Incredible was all about wanting to be a hero and doing the right thing. And of course, among him were other heroes, like Elastigirl, played by, well, Helen Hunt. And she is this superhero that has the power of elasticity, meaning she can stretch her body into any shape. Kind of like Mr. Fantastic, except, except in a woman's body, and more or less does not have the genius intellect like Reed Richards. Also, this also includes Frozone, played by Samuel L. Jackson. Frozone has the power of, you guessed it, ice. Basically, he could shoot ice beams, he can freeze his opponents, he can ice glide, he can make ice bridges, you name it. He can form anything out of ice with his cryokinesis. And Frozone is among the coolest of the cast. However, let's, more about the story. Well, one day, while Mr. Incredible was on his way to get married, well, trouble happens as he stops a bank robbery as he stops as he stops a car as he stops a car chase saves a cat thwarts a suicide attempt and also turns down a number 1 fan by the name of Buddy Pine played by Jason Lee the guy aka the guy from My Name is Earl yeah he's a reoccurring character later on in the movie trust me Anyway, so, however, Mr. Incredible does eventually get married, and it's to Elastigirl. So, Elastigirl and Mr. Incredible, well, they get, they basically, they basically, they basically get married, and 15 years past, and... Well, they have kids by the name of Violet, Dash, and Jack-Jack. However, Supers, during that time period, had been outlawed after a government proclamation called the Supers Relocation Act basically forced Supers to go into hiding, and Supers are having to live normal lives like everyone else. After a bunch of Super-related incidents occurred. So, with that said... Mr. Incredible, a.k.a. Bob Parr, is going into his quote-unquote midlife crisis. His midlife crisis is quote-unquote a doozy. I mean, he longs for, he longs to be a hero again, and he longs for the days of, of wanting to relive his youth. And yes, I know, he he basically has to do that while trying to balance his family life. Mrs. Incredible, a.k.a. Elastigirl, a.k.a. Helen Parr, she basically has to be the stay-at-home mother, and she raises Violet and Dash and Jack-Jack. Then we get to Violet, who is your titular teenager. Violet has your titular teenage problems. She's a teenage girl who, quote-unquote, she basically has problems in her own right of being, of wanting to be shy around, of being shy around boys and being invisible. Basically, Violet is got... Violet has the powers of invisibility. Basically, she has the same sort of powers as the invisible woman. But if but in the body of a teenage girl with long black hair and a yellow and a yellow band and a yellow hair band that she wears. 
Of course, then we get Dash, the middle child. Dash has the power of super speed, and his name implies, yes, he is a speedster like the Flash and Quicksilver, but can't go into the speed force like the Flash. And Jack-Jack at the beginning, well, we don't know his powers until the end of the movie. And when I said that, when I mispronounced the actress who played Elastigirl, I meant to say Holly Hunter. Holly Hunter played Elastigirl. Not Helen Hunt. My mistake. Helen Hunt was not the one who voiced Elastigirl. It was Holly Hunter. My mistake. But back onto the topic of back onto the back onto the topic at hand. Well, one day Bob gets fired from his job. Basically, after his bo after he had enough of his boss being an asshole to him, and so. Bob gets himself fired by quote unquote by quote unquote assaulting his boss by throwing him through a wall. And yes, Bob was terminated from his job until he until a woman by the name of Mirage sent Mr. Incredible a job request, basically for him to get a new job, and it's as a freelance hero. And Mr. Incredible goes to this island to battle this machine called the Omnidroid as his first big mission. And, well, the Omnidroid showed that it was a huge test for Mr. Incredible. However, Mr. Incredible eventually came back to the island after defeating the first Omnidroid. And, well, as he was about to meet with his boss, he soon learned that his boss was a bad guy by the name of Syndrome, who was also the number one fanboy that Mr. Incredible turned down in the beginning of the movie. <clears throat> and, if that's not enough to convince you otherwise that this... Anyway, Syn Syndrome builds a new, more devastating, and more deadly Omnidroid. This Omnidroid, much more powerful than the original. And, boy... Did it give Mr. Incredible a run for his money? Soon, Mr. Incredible learned that Syndrome had also been behind the death of many retired superheroes, basically building Omnidroid after Omnidroid after Omnidroid, killing off supers left and right. However, his family soon learns the truth that Mr. Incredible had been lying, had been lying to them behind their backs. And so, his family basically goes to rescue him. When they arrive on the island, Syndrome attempts to shoot them down. Well, he does shoot them down. And Mr. Incredible thinks they're dead. After all, he thinks that he lost his wife and his kids. And if that's not enough... Well, Mrs. Incredible leaves Violet and Dash by themselves. And tells them to stay put in the cave where where she goes off to find and rescue Mr. Incredible. However, Mirage soon rescues However, Mirage soon frees Mr. Incredible from his prison and informs Mr. Incredible that his family is alive. And soon they are and and soon they are met by Helen, who arrives and is not too happy with Bob. Soon the two of them realize that their kids are in danger. And they go off to save their kids. They fight off Syndrome's henchmen. Then Syndrome shows up and traps the family. Then tells the family that he's going to send the Omnidroid to the city to destroy it. And, def and Syndrome said that he was going to defeat his own creation. And, of course, Mr. Incredible responds by saying, You killed off real heroes so you could pretend to be one? Of course, Syndrome also is a cunning and witty villain, saying, Oh, I'm real, real enough to defeat you, and I didn't need your special powers. So, of course, the Incredibles soon free themselves, thanks to Violet, who frees the family because she manages to slip out of her, her shackles while using her force fields. And, of course, the family escape. They leave the island and head for the city. And soon a big battle implies as the Incredibles fight alongside Syn fight, 
fight alongside Frozone to defeat the Omnidroid. The family manages to defeat the Omnidroid thanks to, thanks to some quick thinking and Mr. Incredible learning its weakness. And soon, the family head home where they're ambushed by Syndrome. And Syndrome tries to kidnap Jack-Jack. Until we learn what Jack-Jack's powers are, he has the powers of shape-shifting, heat vision, teleportation, you name it. This kid is, this kid shows that he is the most powerful member of the family, and yet he's a freaking toddler. Syndrome is getting his ass handed to him by Jack-Jack until, until Syndrome hits his head. Mr. Incredible throws Elastigirl to catch Jack-Jack, who is falling from the air. Then, Mr. Incredible throws a car right at Syndrome, or his car right at Syndrome, and Syndrome gets blown up with his plane, and Syndrome is dead. Well, and of course, the, the Parr family loses their house. Of course. So, if the Parr family lost their house, it would make sense they would go and stay with a friend. Well... Cut to Dash quote, wanting to tr go out for sports, and Dash got his wish about wanting to go out for sports because throughout the beginning of the movie, Dash needed an outlet for his misbehaving because he was a juvenile delinquent. And, well, Dash gets his wish of wanting to go out for sports, and, well, he does really well at it. So, this was my review of The Incredibles. On a full note, is it a good Pixar movie? Fuck yes, it is. It is a good, action-packed film. It's got great music, great animation. It is one of the most original superhero films I've ever watched in my lifetime. I'm your digital Super Saiyan 3, and I'll see you next time.